Welcome to the Siemens TIA selection tool. In this video tutorial, we would like to show you an easy and reliable way to select the right CTOP power supply for your project. Every automation project must be supplied with power. A properly designed power supply ensures energy efficiency without placing any restrictions on power output. With the help of an example project, we will show you how easy this can be accomplished with the TIA selection tool. We will start our demo configuration in the project view. Here we find the 24 volt DC consumer view. It gives an overview of all 24 volt loads in the project that are not yet connected to a power supply. On the properties tab, the respective rated and peak current are displayed for each load. Even loads such as sensors, for example, which are not available in the TIA selection tool, can be created as dummy loads and specified in more detail. For configurations such as the Sematic S7 1500 controller, for example, the Details info field supplies a detailed view of the power calculation with both internal consumption and load consumption. In addition to that, notices remind you that no power supply has been connected yet. Changes to the consumption values, such as reserves for further loads, for example, can be made manually. Confirm your changes with Apply. With the New Power Supply button, a yet unspecified power supply is created. With drag and drop, this can be quickly connected to the desired 24 volt loads as needed. Alternatively, with a right click on the power supply using connect and all, you can connect all loads at once. In the process, the total of required current is determined automatically, displayed in the details info field and taken into account in the subsequent selection of the suitable power supply. With edit, you open a dialog for selecting a suitable power supply. The only devices that are displayed here are those that supply the total power needed by the loads to be supplied. In the selection process, it is also possible to define parameters such as reserve for further loads, concurrency factor, input voltage, product line and redundancy. With apply, the selected power supply and the suitable redundancy module, if relevant, are adopted to the configuration. Subsequent changes can be made at any time. The green check marks indicate that we have added a suitable power supply to our project. In the info field details under the properties tab of the power supply, the parameters related to the selection are now displayed in the table with set and actual values. Moreover, the difference column lists power reserves for further loads. The selected power supply can be changed at any time with the Edit button. It is also possible to connect additional loads. Thank you for your interest in the TIA selection tool and the CTOP power supplies. For additional information, please use the shown links.